Welcome to the ASUG News Studio. My name is Tom Wilgum. I'm co-editorial director of ASUGnews.com. Delighted to have Ajay Vankare in the house today in the broadcast studio. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, Tom. You are the uh, SAP practice leader, CEO, slash uh, do everything for Alpha Sirius. Exactly. True. Tell us a little bit about uh, your experience in the SAP world, just to give them a little background on, on uh, what you do, and then talk about Alpha Sirius just for a little bit, and we'll dive into Solution Manager today. Sure. Um, first of all, you know, thanks for the opportunity to come and chat here. Uh, SAP-wise, I've been doing SAP for about 15 years, me personally. You know, grew within the ranks, started as a programmer, I've done various things. Uh, but primarily, my focus last few years was around ALM, application lifecycle mm -hmm. management, and solution manager being a key component of that. Okay. So I primarily was responsible to build the first practice within the U.S. We were the first company, Alpha Series was the first company to get certified, uh, mm -hmm. run SAP certified uh, with SAP back in 2007. Mm -hmm. So primarily, our role is we are more of a liaison between the customer and the service providers, the systems okay. integrators and service providers. What we try to do is kind of bring in the best practices, the right approach, the right methodology and the tools that will help not only the customer but even the integrators to one, you know, have a successful implementation but also go beyond that, help them, you know, doing their day-to-day -day support, maintenance and optimization. Okay. You know what, let's, let's take a step back. What is solution, SAP Solution Manager? Maybe there's some people watching, uh, we're going to see this video later, who don't, don't know sure. what it is. What sure. is it? Well, if I have to put it in one word, Solution Manager is the heart of your SAP solution. Mm -hmm. Basically, what it is, is you know, back in the day when SAP had just one system, R3 primarily, mm -hmm. so it was okay for customers just to manage it. Now there are multiple tools, multiple systems, third-party systems sure. integrating into your SAP solution. So Solution Manager becomes the hub of every activity that happens in your IT, uh, IT landscape. Mm -hmm. uh, primarily it's referred to as what is called as one source of truth. Mm -hmm. So right from your start of your journey of SAP, when you do your implementation, all your uh, implementation functions, project management functions, documentation, all of that, uh, solution Manager is a tool for it. Okay. But not only of that, once you are live with your SAP, you're in the operations and optimization mode. So how can you use, what are the best practices, how do you do your change management, how do you do your IDSM, ID service management, but also on the technical side, how do you manage your systems, what's the monitoring concept on it. So that's basically what Solution Manager does. Mm -hmm. So it's primarily what's called as the ERP for IT. Has that solution manager grown over the years as SAP has gone from R3 to all these different things? I mean, how has it expanded over the years? Very much, it has grown a lot. Initially, uh, it was introduced back in, I would say like 2002, 2003, the okay. earlier version. Um, the intent then was it was primarily a technical tool for yeah. the you know, basis and the technical team to manage and uh, monitor their SAP systems. But along the lines, you know, as SAP started introducing more and more products, they realized that they need to introduce the right roadmap. They need to introduce the right methodology and the tool. Okay. So since 2.1, the latest version is 7.1 today, 7 which, was, uh, which came out uh, at TechEd last year. Yep. Uh, huge difference, a lot more functionality, a lot more customers actually have started using it for various functions within that, so yes. Let's talk a, you know, talk a little bit about the typical approach to Solution Manager. In your work, what you know from talking to other people, you know, how does the typical company approach Solution Manager? Are they doing enough with it? Are they you know, investing enough time in it? What's your thought on that? Well, the, the, the way I see it is most of the customers, when we talk to our customers, uh, you know, the question is, do you have Solution Manager? Yes, have you have it installed? Yes, what do you use it for? Yeah, we just use it for you know monitoring functions and things as such. So I would say about 70 to 80 percent of customers are in that boat, where they know they have a tool, they know that there is potential, but the challenge for them is you know what's a good roadmap, what's a good strategy, uh, well, what are the why, functions? Why are they so not? Why don't they understand? That's a good question. Uh, there are a few reasons behind it. One is, as I said, when SAP launched this back in uh, 2000. Uh, it was introduced more as a technical tool. Mm -hmm. So primarily, the ownership was more on the technical team, okay. the basis team. And that's the, the uh, thinking that has been going along. Uh, it's just a technical tool at the music. But more importantly, what's happened is, 
since customers have started using SAP, uh, they have been using other tools, other functions outside of Solution Manager. In some cases, they have invested a little bit more. So their challenge is, hey, we know that it has a great potential. Mm -hmm. We know that it integrates all these functions, but you know, we are running our day-to-day -day operations. So typically what we advise is there are two groups of people. One is more what we call as the visionaries. Okay. These are the guys who understand that yes, there's a lot of potential, but also more proactive. So these are the guys who say that, hey, you know what? We know that we have to use it. Let's take a step back, mm -hmm. implement it. Then there's another group which is more of a reactive group. For them, it's you know, just having the lights on, <laughs> running the operations. Right. So, so they have a different approach in the roadmap. So what we try to work with the customers is kind of strategize their roadmap. <clears throat> Do you need to implement all of those functions? Uh, what's a good starting point? If you start with X, what do you do for X, Y, right. and C? If you start with A, what's A, B, and C? But also, what are your low-hanging fruits? Mm -hmm. What's the benefit you can get right away? And also, what's the long-term strategic map? So for example, yesterday we were talking to one of the global retail uh, electronic customers, and mm -hmm. their, their challenge was, yeah, we have been using SAP for quite a few years, but we really don't know. Our, our basis team says that uh, Solution Manager is good enough for monitoring. So their challenge was, what's a good starting point? We have projects going on, we have day-to-day -day support, we are merging with another company, we are open, opening uh, international locations, things mm -hmm. like that. So that's where we work with the customers, help them strategize it, help them you know, establish the roadmap. And your contention, as we talked about before, is much more than just a basis tool. Yes. Is that something you have to you know, help customers understanding that? Very much so. Again, you know, the perception is uh, today, again, most of the customers, it's still the basis team who has the ownership of Solution Manager. Because for them, they need it, they have to have mm -hmm. it. That's a minimum requirement from SAP. So that's a starting point for most of the customers. Uh, and the perception is, yeah, you know, the basis has it, that's fine, and they try to you know, control it within the, within the region. Uh, and that's what, what we try to tell the customers is, okay. first of all, it's not a basis tool. Uh, primarily, you know, the ownership should be more with the PMO or the COE. I know Michael was here before, he talked about you know, COE things right. and such. And Solution Manager becomes an integral part of COE. Hmm, that's interesting. Now, once customers start understanding those, then started uh, putting the roadmaps, that's when you can start uh, implementing some of the key functions mm -hmm. out of Solution Manager. So the, one of the hottest topics is uh, upgrades to 7.1. 7.1, yes. That you're seeing, how, you know, for SA, from SAP's point of view, is, are, is it getting a big uptake? What, what's, your, and what's your thought on that? What customers need to know? True. Uh, I, uh, I have seen a lot of action, I would say, in the past six months than what I've seen in the past six years. The primary reason was Solution Manager 7.1 has been uh, in, the, in the line for about two years now which they released uh, back in August last year. So now customers are in a position that yes, this fits in a lot of our functions which we're looking for. But outside of that, even SAP has uh, included or uh, added a lot more new functions. ITSM is a big add-on mm -hmm. in, in 7.1, which is a, a key component for any optimized SAP solution. Um, they have kind of you know, cleaned up some of the technical challenges they've had with the earlier versions. They've made it much more user-friendly. Believe it or not, even business users, the end users, <laughs> can actually start using Solution Manager. Really, I mean, that would be groundbreaking. Exactly, and that's, that's a big change. They've introduced the concept of work centers, mm. uh, primarily you know, uh, more of web-based, GUI, and uh, not GUI-based, but web-based screens. So what happens is even the business users, it has become much more friendlier and easier for them to start using it. So what are the, the big differences that customers will notice right away? I mean, what's the, the biggest thing you'd want S, uh, ASUG members and SAP customers to know? Sure, from, again, from 7.0 to 7.1, 7.0 ESP1, the big is, uh, is uh, they have included the CRM components. Mm -hmm. So in uh, the older version, they had CRM, but it was very minimal, Now they've added CRM 7.0. What that brings to the table is it brings the whole ITSM, ID service management. So I'll tell you the best example is when we did a prototype with a customer, the CIO walked in, looked at the demo, and he said, yes, I want those reports. Hmm. So they have included a lot of dashboard reporting, a lot of analytics, a lot of analysis, not just of the utilization of the tool, but beyond that. So how can customers benefit from that? It's not 
you know, you don't have to use Solution Manager just because SAP is asking you to use it. Yep. There's a lot more benefit where the customers can start start uh, realizing that. And yet you come to an event like this and there's not a whole heck of a lot of Solution Manager talk. Are there sessions? I mean, do people, can, can they get their fair share of Solution Manager sure. when they're down here? Uh, well, I mean, uh, th there are quite a few sessions. Actually, we did a pre-conference on Sunday. Yep. And you know, it was pretty filled up, yep. about 50 attendees, 50 to 60 attendees. And I would say there are overall about 15 sessions going on yep. as we speak, different levels. We have uh, customers speaking, actually some of the customers who have upgraded to 7.1, some are in the process of upgrading and uh, enabling some of the functions. Right. So to your point, yes, there is enough content. Well, I guess what I meant on, you know, on the main stage is, oh, sorry, main I, stage, I do know though okay. in the sessions there's a lot of talk. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's where the value is there, true, you're right. True. Well, I mean, the, the, the biggest thing which SAP has been promoting is run SAP like a factory, right? right? And the, the key tool and the driver behind that is Solution Manager. Right. So if you go to any of the SAP booths here, there's a lot of you know, demos and discussions around how you're talking about you know, not just your internal IT, but extending to your business users, mm -hmm. your outside users. Uh, the best example is 7.1 actually integrates with a lot of third-party tools. Oh, okay. So, you know, whether you're using it for, for testing functions or whether you're using it for any business process documentation. So they have expanded that much more, made it much more adaptable than mm -hmm. what it was before. Great. Well, thank you very much for stopping by the sure. studio. Thanks Pre a lot. Thanks appreciate for Appreciate you having you. Go to asugonline.com for more videos as well as ASUG News. Thank you for watching.